My dad never came home from the war in Korea. And so when I was eight, my grandfather gave me his job of raising the town flag each morning. Our family name, Burroughs, is on all the monuments of every war. We take our patriotism seriously in Homer. Which is why when Dorothy Nelson returned home from the Navy in 1954, she didn't exactly get a ticker tape parade. In a small town, if you've got any secrets you can't shout out loud on the commons, maybe you should live elsewhere, a big city where your neighbors don't know your name. Homer, Connecticut was just a little too small for Dorothy Nelson. Let me look at you. Why oh, wish you'd worn your uniform? <laughs> I love it when the neighbors see you in it. Have you had something to eat? Do you want me to fix you some dinner? Mama, I desperately need to sleep. I've been on the bus for three days. Well, how long can you stay? Well, I'm not going back. I decided to leave for good. But you've loved the Navy. Mm. What on earth are you... You know, let's talk about it later, please. I'm just gonna rest right now. I'm really tired. Okay, Mama? Okay. Sorry. Right. I missed home cooking. <laughs> and it's so great to be able to watch television. <laughs> you never should have bought that. You were supposed to be saving for college, remember? I thought you'd like it. I love it. I never miss Jack Benny when he's on. <laughs> but it is extravagant. So, what do you propose? Hmm? I'm sorry, but I don't earn enough to put food on the table for both of us. <laughs> well, you can't just loaf about the house all day. I know. I'm going to look for a job starting today. In this town? Most girls your age are married raising families. They're hiring men, heads of households. Veterans who've sacrificed for our country. I sacrificed for our country. Nobody says you haven't. First thing I'm going to get is a new coat for you. First thing you're going to do is get a job. Welcome home, sailor. Howdy, Mr. Burroughs. <laughs> How's your grandson? Oh, just dandy. You ought to see little Johnny raise the flag every morning just the way his father used to. You home on liberty? No, I'm home for good. Say, you ought to join us at the American Legion. We've never had a girl vet before. Wouldn't that give the wives a surprise? I just don't think that that's something that this town's quite ready for just yet. I'll see you. Ah, 
Dorothy! Dorothy Nelson! What's the matter? I heard you were back. <laughs> of all my Bobby's girlfriends, you're still my favorite. How is Bobby? Uh, you know Bobby enough to make you run away and join the Navy. <laughs> Look, come in the store. Let's talk like the old days. I can't right now. I, I have to find a job. For good luck. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Welcome home, for the first girl from Homer to ever go naked. Hi, Miss Keene. Oh, please, Janet, I'm not that old. Here you go. Lunch is on the house. Thank you, Janet. Order's up. <laughs> Hello. She is. I'll tell her. Thanks. <laughs> Dorothy, that was your mother on the telephone. She wants you to go on over to the elementary school as quick as you can and report to Chuck Dawson. Seems someone just quit. How did she know that I was here? Where else can you eat in this town? Good luck. This is a, a very good job for a young woman your age. You know, keep your hands full until you're able to have a few children of your own. I'm your gal. This would be nice for your mother, too. You'll be able to go to work together. Thank you, Mr. Dawson. Yes, yeah, lucky for both of us. Now, if I can just uh, get a look at your discharge papers, we'll move this right along. My discharge papers? Hmm. Was that really necessary? Oh, didn't you bring them? Well, you can always go home and get them, bring them back. I'm here until 5 o'clock. I may have to explain a few things. Well, no need to explain. I'm an army man myself. <laughs> There's a blue discharge. Yes, sir. This is Section 8. That can be explained. Well, I'm sure it can, but I'm not your commanding officer. I can't hire somebody with a dishonorable discharge, and I certainly can't hire somebody with a Section 8 to work with school children. Does your mother know that you got a dishonorable discharge for this, this sexual deviancy? No, sir. Well, out of the respect that I hold for your mother, I'm going to keep this quiet just between ourselves. Good day, Dorothy. father's name on the monument? Yes. Here's my father's. You want to know something really neat? Whenever you really need anything, like help on a big test or good grades in school, you just come right here, you touch your father's name, and it's good luck. It is? Sure is. Try it sometime. We'll see you around. See ya. Verbatim as the legal bulwark of the Communist Party. A wonderful coming home present my daughter's given me. What were you thinking? Telling my employer. I'll be lucky if I have a job after 15 years. What does my leaving the Navy have anything to do you with it? You didn't your... leave the Navy. You were thrown out because you are. I brought you up to be better than that. 
then you've disgraced me. I will not have filth and perversion in my because Mara is a symbol, the leader, and the cleverest of the jackal pack, which is... Stay as long as you like here. Sit down. Oh. Comfy like a real bed, see? <laughs> Mr. Manos, thank you. It's okay, that's okay. You don't know what people are saying about me. Who listens to people who don't know you? Say, what do you say to helping us out in the store till you land on your feet? I would love to help out. Ah, this whole thing will blow over. Your mama will change her mind, you'll see. You got mixed up a little bit. That's what youth is for, getting mixed up. Everything's gonna work out, 100%. Dorothy, my wife needs some help up front. Carry Mrs. Burgess's groceries to the car. Yes, ma'am. No, thank you. That will not be necessary. Oh, no trouble. I said that will not be necessary. I think I'll come back later. I'm sorry. Mrs. Dawson? You... Dorothy, would you please go back to your work in the stockroom? I can handle things here. <clears throat> it's no good, Dorothy. You're scaring away our regulars. You'll have to leave. I'm sorry, Dorothy, but what can I do? I'm sorry, too, Mr. Manos. No wonder I'm 39. <laughs> okay, there you go, son. That's her, all right. She looks like one. She does not. She looks perfectly normal. She looks like a queer. Come on. What's the matter, huh? Don't you like oh. boys? Is that it, huh? Come on. Go, girl! Where are you going? Hey, 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 hey! OK, stop. Game is over. Go home, boys. You OK? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's uh, closing time. I was going to have a drink. Would you care to join me? Yes. You, you look like you could use one. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. <laughs> OK. So what happened? Did you want out or? Did they want you out? It's funny. Nobody else in this town has even bothered asking me that. Well, why ask when you can gossip? Does everybody think that I'm... A lesbian? Are you? I don't know. You know, I never even knew that there was such a thing until I signed up. That was the first time that I'd even thought about it. Sleeping Beauties, hit the decks. It's 0500. I want your butt showered and dressed in the entire company mustard in 10 minutes. Let's go. 
Hey, miss! Hey, slow down! Come join us! Lezzy! Lesbo! Is that why you joined up for a little shower activity? <laughs> Even if enlisted men call you names, you will behave like ladies at all times. It is normal to form close friendships with other women in the Navy, which may last beyond the service. This is normal behavior. But lesbianism must be eradicated from our ranks. If you know of or suspect any such behavior, you will report it to me promptly. I will not brook such behavior. Not when you're told week watch. after week that you mustn't think of something. Soon that's all you can think of. Hey, scholar, when do you get your nose out of that book? There are just two ways a girl can go blind. Reading and jerking off. <laughs> And I did wonder why I'd never fallen in love with a man. Put it back in your pants, girls. You just earned yourselves a Section 8. And then the Navy started cracking down. More and more waves were getting drummed out just on the suspicion of being lesbian. One rumor was all it took. They could have come for me at any second. So just imagine my relief when I met this yes, wonderful sir, man. I knew one thing for certain. I had never met anyone like Billy Temple in this man's Navy. Chief Petty Officer Billy Temple requesting permission to address Lieutenant Commander Pat McPherson on the urgent matter of how to train waves on proper bedpan techniques. Yes, sir. Now, you don't have to tell the old gal exactly what I said. She is watching us, though. Yes, sir. Dorothy. Dorothy? Is your name really Dorothy? Dorothy is in, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Dorothy? Tell me something, Dorothy. Do you like the movies? Yes, I do. Well, how'd you like to join me at 1900 in the Mess tonight? The show on stage door. Oh, I love new movies. Oh, child. Child, child, I can see Cousin Billy's gonna have to take you in hand. <sighs> stage door is a classic. Stage door illuminates human existence. Stage door is free. 1900. I'll see you there. <clears throat> Seaman Nelson, Seaman Nelson, I'm so glad you came. Sit down. Allow me to introduce my uh, gang of hospital corpsmen. They're quite a rowdy crew. Ray, Tony, this is my friend Dorothy. Pleased to meet Dorothy. you. Dorothy, delighted. You know, I'm a friend of Dorothy's. And I'm a friend of Dorothy's. Watch it, clowns. <clears throat> you see, we call ourselves the friends of Dorothy because we just love the Wizard of Oz, don't you? <laughs> From the beginning, I really liked Billy. He was sweet and kind of shy. He certainly wasn't like any of the boys in Homer. No, I guess that's a blessing, huh? Yeah, a blessing in disguise, perhaps. I saw a lot of Billy in the weeks to come. He was just so charming and funny. What about you? Why did he join up? Oldest cliche there is. I want the Navy to make a man out of me. Did you ever see any action? Oh, yeah. yeah. Got myself a purple heart and everything. It makes for a good pickup line, if nothing else. You know, you want to come up to my place and see my purple heart. Hmm. Well, Billy, 
I hope you don't think that this is too forward of me. I would love to come to your place and see your purple heart. <laughs> Dorothy, you're a sweet kid and everything, but uh, don't be getting a crush on your old cousin Billy. Would that be so terrible? Yes, I'm afraid it would be. Why? <laughs> Boy, you see, I, I'm not like other men. That's why I'm crazy about you. Listen, Dorothy, I, I care about you. If I could fall in love with you, I would. I wish I could. <laughs> but all I can ever be is your friend. I'm a friend of Dorothy's. That's a code name for men like me. I'm homosexual. I thought you knew that. I'm such a fool. Oh. Dorothy, no, no, you're not at all. But listen, if you even breathe one word of this to your CEO after 10 years of service, I am out with no benefits. Don't worry, you can trust me, Billy. All right. Don't worry. I know I can. Dorothy, I hope this doesn't offend you, but um, I think maybe you got a crush on me for a reason. You see, I always thought you liked me because you were like me. You mean a, a friend of Dorothy's? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, come on. You have thought about it, haven't you? Sure you have. Yes. Yeah, Billy, I have. And you did join the Navy for adventure, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Do you think you're up for some? Mm-hmm. Good girl. Then I'll show you the time of your life. You meet me downtown, 1,900 hours, and wear your civvies. Where we're going, it's best not to advertise you're a suave. Only you and you. I've never seen so many. What? Men dancing with men? Women dancing with women? Colored people dancing with whites? <laughs> Ruby owns this place. Most of these places are in the colored part of town. Colored people know what it is to live and let live. Sit down. Can I get a couple of scotches here for me and my friend? <clears throat> Dorothy, this is Ruby. Welcome to Ruby's, Dorothy. You letting this man lead you astray? Now, don't you worry. Everybody here is real ladies and gentlemen. It's just that sometimes they close no match. Thank you, Ruby. Now listen, the bouncer sits over there by the door. The first sign of trouble, or if someone comes in that he doesn't know, he flips a switch. Now you see that light over there? Mm -hmm. It's important to watch that light while you're dancing. If that light goes on, you grab me or the man nearest to you and start dancing, okay? Relax. This place almost never gets raided. Ruby pays for her protection regularly. <laughs> Come on, I got the first dance. Mm. Oh, see that? Red light just came on. Must be someone the bouncer didn't know came in. Ooh, just some old bull dagger coming in from the cold. Oh, my God. Billy, it's McPherson, my CO. I think she just saw me. We gotta get out of here. Whoa, 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 darling. Take it easy there. You might have just had a stroke of good fortune. See, if she knows you saw her come in, she's not gonna say anything. You might even get a promotion out of this. Billy, let's go. Hey, would you relax? We're supposed to be having a good time now. Who's that? Oh, that? That's just Max. Max? Well, really, it's Maxine. <laughs> Mind if I could in? Oh, not at all. I mean you, honey. I'm sure she'd be delighted. Max, take care of her, won't you? Excuse me.
Don't tell me you've never done this. Done what? Dance with a woman before. I bet there's something else you've never done with a woman. What? so fast after that. I, I don't know how long I was interrogated. Witnesses have testified that you were seen engaging in intimate behavior with a woman. We danced. You don't remember the names of any other enlisted personnel in the bar? No. You could trust me. I don't remember anyone else. We're not going to get much more. Lieutenant, I really do think it was her first time in the bar. It falls to your discretion to overlook a first time offense. Get rid of her. Yes, ma'am. Sign here, we're indicated on all copies. It's a Section 8 discharge, effective immediately. What's gonna happen to Billy? Court Martial. Hard labor for not cooperating with our investigation and for corrupting enlisted personnel. One stroke of the pen, and there went my college tuition. My pension, my future. Rodish, you can put yourself through college with no thanks to Uncle Sam. I can't even find a job with my discharge papers. True, not in Homer, but <laughs> Dorothy, listen. If you fell in love tomorrow, got married and had five children, people in this town would still whisper every time you left the room. Small towns don't forgive or forget. What am I gonna do? Well. The only place I know 
where you can just be a face in the crowd and not treated like an outcast is New York City. New York? Nobody's going to ask for your discharge papers in Greenwich Village. Listen, I've, I've got a friend, Bev Mayer. She, uh, she lives in the village. She's got a big heart for strays. If you want, I can give her a call. Okay. I can give her a call right now. You finish your eggs. Okay. Thanks, Janet. says that she would be happy to give you the use of her sofa for a week. We should give you enough time to find yourself a room. There's her phone number and her address. Were you two? We... We were roommates. We were Very good friends. We still are. Let's just leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> Janet, I don't know if I am a lesbian. Well, you're not going to find out in this town. Listen, Dorothy. If you are a lesbian, become an extraordinary one. <laughs> yeah. I want you to take this. No. Yes. To help you get started in your new life. I can't. This is... It's not a gift. It's a loan. Many years ago, I found myself in a really bad situation. And a woman gave me a very generous sum, which saved me. And she told me she didn't want me to pay her back. But instead, that... When I could afford... She wanted me to help out some promising young woman. Some young woman who found herself in trouble, too. So there. I've paid my debt. You do the same. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> it's late. <laughs> I'm tired. You take the sofa and um, get the bus in the morning. Nelson, I'm sorry to hear about your daughter being in trouble. I don't have a daughter. It was the last time Dorothy Nelson was in Homer, except for the day of her mother's funeral.
My granddad told me never to get mixed up with her kind. But I thought she looked nice, and she looked worried. So I rubbed her father's name for her, to bring her good luck, wherever she was going. Some things seemed to never change. And so, when my time came, I went to war, like my father, and his father before him.